Well, thanks for coming in on such short notice, Survivor Man. Looks like the Wild's been treating you nicely. Oh, sure, eh? Oh, you know, in the Wild, it's always the same. Changing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have for me today? This isn't about a mission, George. Well, it is, but not a new one. I think it's best if we talk in my office. They call me E. I'm the director of the Wilderness Intelligence Lifesaver Division. And George is one of our most elite and highest ranked agents, but that doesn't excuse his violating our code. Take a seat, George. Not only did you violate protocol, but you betrayed our integrity you didn't get approval from the division before going on your wild goose chase and assembling your team and risking the lives of both Matthew and Veronica. Here's the one party badger. Not to mention the unauthorized use of taxpayer dollars. And Matt was a volunteer. He was non-union. Exactly. exactly. He was non-union. I'm Kay. I'm E's second in command. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No. I run all of George's operations. Well, his approved ones, at least. And I, I still don't understand that stupid accent. He was our friend. We were looking- You were emotionally involved in the mission. It was just reckless, George. You weren't cleared. It was a covert search and rescue mission. There wasn't any time. You were to... wasting division time and money on an unauthorized mission. We were saving someone from being consumed by the that water. Enough! You want to let me do my job, okay? This, see this desk? This is my office, not yours. Not another word. <laughs> Nepotism. Nevertheless, you compromised your entire squad by leading them out there with no cover and no backup. I'm sorry, George. It's time to take off your hat. What were you thinking? Listen, it's true, you've, you've given a lot to the division over the years, mostly teaching other people what not to do, but I've been instructed to have you dishonorably discharged. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I actually met Survivor Man before. He's awesome. Uh, he gave me his autograph, I didn't even ask for it. Such a cool guy. I, uh, I remember this one time, I was like trying to get lost so that Survivor Man could come. And... Oh, sorry, do you work here? What, what's that? Uh, this, is, this is actually a close set. Oh, I'm sorry, I went to ask you to leave. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh... I, I thought just anybody could come. You don't do this to me. I've been with the squad for 17 years. Been going on search and rescue missions and saving lives. Massaging your feet. I stand all day and your hands are so powerful. Hey, you want the truth? Oh, I think I can handle the truth. Here it is. The last time I was faced with a decision like this, I was following protocol to the letter. It was a camping trip that went awry. A little boy went missing. Don't, George. I cleared the search first, but there was a thunderstorm. The backup was held up in traffic. That was the night Michael Jackson died. There's no way we could have predicted that many people in the street. I still remember hearing his voice. My little boy's voice. By the time backup arrived, it was too late. We started the search. We slowly combed through the foliage. But by the time we found his body, 
I lost my son that day due to protocol. I was not going to lose Eddie, too. I'm sorry about your son, George. You know I am. I, too, lost a family member to synchronized swimming. All right, George. I'm going out on a limb here. I can offer you a position where you can assist in select missions as a civilian consultant for now. But you can go in and out as you like. You can even keep your hat. What do you say, George? Is it a deal? I quit. What? You have no idea how high I am right now. Wait, that's not right. You have no idea how high I can get. Oh, that, that's not it either. I am high as a... You know what? Never mind. Yeah, that's right. Leave. Nobody liked you anyway. You know, I'm this close to sending you back to the DQ to make blizzards. Have you ever given a foot massage? Yeah. All right, go get the lotion. Oh, George. What am I gonna do now? I didn't think they'd let me quit. So yeah, now what? What do we do first, Survivor Man? Well, Grizzle. Really, guys? Do we have to use the nicknames again? Mike? Nora. Eddie. Ellen? Brian. Nora. Matt. Now, say my name.